Hey, it's Loaf. Most of you that watch the channel aren't subscribed, so if you like our content and want to see more, simply tossing us a like and slapping that subscribe button really helps this channel grow. The Battle of the Platforms event shared many exciting moments between the titans of social media. With Team YouTube coming out on top with 5 wins in comparison to Team TikTok's single win, the event had fans on the edge of their seats. From Deji's shocking loss to Vinny Hacker, to a controversial tie between Taylor Holder and, and Easton Gibb. One of the most notable moments of Saturday night was the one-sided fight between Austin McBroom against Bryce Hall. With a technical knockout by round three, I'm sure you can see from these images why the ref declared that the match was over. While Bryce Hall had initially talked a lot of smack towards Austin McBroom, it's safe to say that his beef with Austin McBroom is in the past after Saturday night's event. However, the internet wasn't going to let Bryce Hall off the hook that easily. If you recall in our previous video, Bryce Hall had also had some beef with KSI earlier last month. It ended with them both agreeing to a potential fight once Bryce Hall's fight with McBroom was out of the way. 100% KSI, you said. That's like 100% confirmed? That is like 95% confirmed. He's been tweeting about me. I think he wants this fight because he sees the numbers. Do you think that you can beat him? Yeah. However, after the Battle of the Platforms, Bryce seemed no longer interested in the proposed bout with KSI. Are you still confident about fighting KSI because... KSI is all over this, but I, again, stirring the pot, trying to get more eyes to the event, and it worked. So you're not actually down to, to fight KSI? In a way, this does make sense because according to an interview with No Jumper, Bryce would earn $5 million from the moment he steps into the ring, plus an additional 4% from pay-per-view sales. He mentions that in reality, he was simply just huge fans of both KSI and Digi, and he only started beef to help bring more eyes to the event. Bryce Hall took it to Twitter to share his final thoughts in the event. I'm so proud of everyone on the card last night. You showed up and showed out and got in the ring in front of 30,000 people to do something you weren't fully comfortable with. Takes big balls. I love the experience, regardless of the outcome. I can't express anything but happiness that we pulled off an event like that in just three months. Good job, everyone. Hey, Ma, I'm still buying you that house, by the way. Additionally, he shared some words in support of Deji, who had also faced a defeat in the event. Don't be hard on yourself either, bud. It takes balls what you did and you performed amazing as well. It was all for entertainment and you did that. Deji is actually such a good guy, man. Sucks to see people clown him for something they'd never get the opportunity to do. Many fans shared their thoughts and supported Bryce Hall. I'm glad you lost, bro. No disrespect. But you've been humbled and this Bryce is better. I clown Bryce so hard, but he actually seems like a pretty chill dude, not gonna lie. For y'all being hella disrespectful towards Bryce, y'all pathetic. It takes some balls to walk into a ring and fight someone in front of thousands of people. Not to mention he took the hardest punches, and yet to get knockout. Good fight last night, Bryce. The fight was rigged. You were the best boxer of all time, and you would knock out KSI in seconds. Others were not as forgiving. You got humbled hard. If you had actually won, would you actually be here talking nice on others? Crazy seeing someone's ego get shattered in front of thousands of people, then turn humble. Now, it wouldn't be the last time the internet held Bryce Hall accountable for his words, as he had mentioned that he had a background in wrestling. As it turns out, TikTok user NoahB16 had decided to take on the task of looking into Bryce's wrestling history. How good was Bryce Hall when he used to wrestle in high school? Until graduating in 2016, Bryce Hall used to wrestle for Howard High School in Maryland. Now, I will admit, I don't have all of his records. He got pinned here, lost here, and got pinned here too. So from all I could find online, he was 0-3. But that got me thinking, where are the kids that beat him? So I thought, oh, let me look the guys up on Instagram and see if like they could answer a question or two of what it was like to wrestle him. So when I messaged this guy, Austin, I got something a little better than some answers to questions. With the video going viral on TikTok, many users tuned in to share their thoughts. Some things never change. I'm dead, bro. Walking L. I have a wrestling background. His arms haven't grown since the third grade. He looked like he wasn't even trying, he was just laying there. He gives up then acts like he didn't. He did the same thing with Austin. While the person in the video does share similarities, Bryce Hall has not commented nor responded to any claims to confirm whether or not it was actually him. Anyways, that's all for today. Until next time.
keep it fresh. See ya.